Hello everyone and welcome back to Coach Craig Sports. Today is Sunday, July 31st, and this is the MLB DFS video for today. So in today's video, we'll be going through a quick little recap of yesterday's picks, seeing how they played out. Talking about my core plays for today's FanDuel main slate is 11 game main slate overall. And then talking about my top GPP stacks for the FanDuel main slate as well. My article is not yet published at webetets.com, but once that is published, I'll leave a link to that down below. But without further ado, we'll get started with a recap of yesterday's picks. At the pitcher position, we had Framber Valdez, $10,400. Got the 37 points. I did give him a hit yesterday. Anything about 36 points is kind of what we're looking for out of him. 36 to 40 is what we would really like to see. He would have got the win yesterday and been at 43 if the bullpen did not end up blowing the game. But that's just kind of how it worked out, unfortunately. Then first base, we had Reese Haskins. He was $3,000. We got three points out of him. Technically, I gave him a push. Uh, you can consider this a miss as well. Only went one for five yesterday. Really unfortunate there. Then at third base, we had $2,800. Got to 12.2 points, so he was a hit. And then we had Nick Castellanos once again at $2,300. Ended up with zero points yesterday. He was a miss and 0 for 4 on the day overall. And then last but not least, we had Jordan Alvarez at $4,600. Only got three points, so he was a miss. 0 for 4 was just a walk yesterday. Kind of an unfortunate day for him, but you're going to have that every once in a while. So not quite the best day overall. Stacking some of these Phillies against Mitch Keller. You know, they had good history versus somebody even pitching better. So it's kind of seeing which one kind of worked out yesterday. Unfortunately, it ended up being on the Keller side overall. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to my core picks for today. So we're going to start off at the pitcher position with Aaron Ashby, $8,400. Goes against the Boston Red Sox. He has no history versus these Boston Red Sox hitters in the past since he's never faced them before. Been pitching reasonably well. There's some strikeout upside there as well. This Boston Red Sox lineup is nothing to really be afraid of at this point in time. Since, you know, they're missing Rafael Devers. They're missing a couple other pieces there. And since Ashby's a lefty, he kind of neutralizes guys like Duran and Verdugo a little bit in there too. So, so the only guy that you really have to worry about in this lineup is Xander Bogarts, especially considering J.D. Martinez has kind of been dealing with that back injury off and on. That's kind of been bugging him, so he's not hitting too well at this point in time. Then at second base, we're going to go with Whit Merrifield. You could also play him in the outfield. He's $2,900, averaging over nine fantasy points per game on the season. Goes against Jordan Montgomery and the New York Yankees today. Three for four versus Montgomery in his career. So a relatively small sample size, but a relatively good one at that. Then at third base, we got Alex Bregman. He's been tearing it up in the series. $3,000 going right back to him today. Averaging over 10 fantasy points per game on the season. Goes against the Seattle Mariners and George Kirby. Never faced him before in his career, but as I mentioned already, have already have any great series, so I would expect that to continue once again today. Then at shortstop, we have Trey Turner at $4,200, averaging over 12.5 fantasy points per game on the season. Goes against the Colorado Rockies and German Marquez today. He's 4 for 13 versus him in his career. Trey Turner is on a 17-game hitting streak, so he's probably one of the safer plays or the safest play to get a hit today, but we'll see if that changes today. Definitely does offer a lot of upside as well. Then last but not least, we have outfielder Christian Yelich at $3,400, averaging over 10.5 fantasy points per game on the season. Going against the Boston Red Sox and Josh Winkowski, he's never faced him before in his career, but there is some upside there going against a relatively young and proven pitcher, and he is also on a nine-game heading streak as well. But with that being said, if you are these five players that do have listed, you're at $13,100 remaining, just under $3,300 per player. So if you really want to pay up for another player, you could definitely do it and find some value picks, or if you want to take a little bit more balance approach that's definitely fine on today's slate as well but with that being said we're going to get over to my top gpp stacks for today as i mentioned already my article is not yet published at the time of this recording but once it is published i'll leave a link to it down in the comments below so we have the yankees going against zach Greinke. most of these yankees hitters have pretty good history versus him as well and a lot of that history came when zach Greinke was a little bit better pitcher as well he's not a guy that's striking out a lot of batters or anything like that so it should be a very favorable matchup for the new york yankees today then we have the milwaukee brewers going against josh Winkowski of the Boston Red Sox obviously they never faced him before since he's a rookie pitcher and they've never faced off against him pretty much so I do have some interest in some of these Brewers today Christian Yelich, Colton Wong, Rowdy Chelesby and three of my favorites then we have the Chicago White Sox my favorite team going against Adam Aller of the Oakland A's definitely a lot of upside there if this White Sox team can swing the bat and swing the bats pretty good today and then last but not least, we have the Dodgers going against German Marquez. Obviously, the game's in course field. They have decent history versus German Marquez in the past, so it could be some upside there as well. But with that being said, these are my core picks as well as top GPP stacks for today, July 31st. As always, if you have any questions related to MLB DFS, be sure to leave them down in the comments below and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Also, be sure to let me know your favorite play on today's slate, whether it's someone from my core five picks, whether it's someone from my top GPP stacks, or whether it's a completely different player you guys think I missed. Definitely interested in hearing what you have to say. 
But with that being said, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Definitely would appreciate it. Helps to build the community that we're trying to build here at Coach Craig Sports, which is one that's truly for you, the viewers, helping you with your DFS, mainly MLB DFS at this point in time. But once we get back around to the NFL and NBA regular seasons, I'll be covering those two sports as well. And then with that being said, if you are newer current subscribers yet to do so, also be sure to hit that notification bell down below. It's going to let you know every single time I post up a new video. Like I've been saying, I post up daily MLB DFS videos just like this. But with that being said, Said that's all I have for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And then last but not least, special shout out to each and every one of you watching today's video. I truly do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It definitely means a lot to me and I hope each and every one of you has a great rest of your day.